Hey there, are you looking for a quick and easy way to control your Shelly devices without relying on your mobile phone and voice assistance? Alexa, turn on the potato light. Sorry, I didn't find a group or device named potato light. Have you ever wished you could replace that dead and expensive garage door remote? Or perhaps you're experiencing low or no Wi-Fi in certain areas like your garage or a basement? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then you've come to the right place. So stick till the end to find out more. My name is Philippe and in today's video I'll introduce you to the Shelly Blue Button 1. With this handy gadget, you can control a variety of Shelly devices. From controlling your garage door and gates, to controlling your lights, controlling your roller shutters, finding your keys, and even trigger complex scenes within the Shelly app. Before we dive in, please note that in order to use the Shelly Blue Button 1, you need to have at least one Shelly Plus device installed in your home. More on this in a moment. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to show some love by leaving a like, commenting down below and subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one. Let's start by unboxing the Shelly Blue Button 1 and see what you get. Inside the box, what you'll find is a Shelly Blue Button 1, a CR2032 battery, 3V battery and a user manual to help you through the setup procedure. But if you're lazy like me and you prefer to watch YouTube videos, then stay until the end because I'll explain how to use the Shelly and set up the Shelly Blue Button 1. Now let's talk about some of the main features of the Shelly Blue Button 1. This is a Bluetooth device and it requires a Bluetooth gateway. So to make it work, you need to have at least one Shelly Plus device in your home to act as a Bluetooth gateway. Since Shelly Plus devices have Bluetooth capabilities, they can act as Bluetooth gateways. So the more you have in your home, the more gateways you'll have, which means you can trigger the Shelly Blue Button 1 in different locations. Since Shelly Blue Button 1 is a Bluetooth device, this means you can activate directly Shelly Plus devices that have Bluetooth. But don't worry, you can also activate indirectly older Shelly devices that do not have Bluetooth. Shelly Blue Button <laughs> Shelly Blue Button 1 supports multi-action trigger and it supports up to four actions. So you can do one click, you can do two clicks, you can do three clicks and you can do a long press. Shelly Blue Button 1 response time is under a second. Shelly Blue Button 1 is a Bluetooth low energy device and this means in theory the battery can survive for a long time. Now let's set up the Shelly Blue Button 1 and add it to the Shelly Cloud account. The first thing we need to do after removing the Shelly from the box is to insert the 3 volt battery into the Shelly. Afterwards, we are ready to add it to the Shelly Cloud account. Because this is a Bluetooth device, you will need to download the new Shelly Smart Control app to add the Bluetooth device. With the old application, you won't be able to do it. To add the Shelly Blue Button 1 to your account, open the Shelly application. Then, press the plus button on the bottom right. Press Add New Device. Tap Add via Bluetooth and press Next. For the Shelly device to show up, press the button to turn it on. Select the device and press next. Wait a few seconds and then give it a name. Then select a picture to represent the Shelly device and press next. Then select which Shelly Plus devices you want to act as Bluetooth gateways. The more Shelly Plus devices you select, the better, because then you'll have more chances of detecting the button when you use it. Then press next. Select the room where you want to add the device and tap save. Wait a few seconds. Once it's connected to the Shelly Cloud, you can tap to see its configurations. Now that we've added the Shelly Blue Button 1 to the Shelly Cloud account, let's explore its configuration options. Tap on the Shelly Blue Button 1 to access its configurations. On the main screen, you can see a few things. At the top, you have the battery level and at the bottom, you have four items. First, you can see what was the last Bluetooth gateway that saw the Shelly Blue Button 1. Then you have a pair button that you can use to pair the Shelly Blue Button 1 with your phone. Then you have the troubleshoot button to detect any issues with the device. And finally, at the very bottom, you can see how many clicks were used to activate the Shelly Blue Button 1 last time. Then, on the top left side of the screen, you can see a few more options. The first option is for the screen we're seeing now. The second option takes you to the event log, and here you can see all past interactions with the Shelly Blue Button 1. The third option is the Find My Device screen. This is the screen you can use to find your Shelly Blue Button 1. Please note that in order to use this, your Shelly Blue Button 1 needs to be paired with your phone. 
the phone that you will use to trigger the Find My Device. The fourth screen takes you to the application settings. Here, you only have one option, which is to disable the event logs. And finally, the last screen contains the Shelly Blue Button 1 settings. In here, you can do a few things. Enable or disable the Shelly Blue Button 1 buzzer sound. This one. If you disable it, you will no longer hear the beep sound. The next option is the Enable or Disable Beacon Mode. This option needs to be enabled if you want to use the Find My Device feature. This option wakes up the Shelly Blue Button 1 more or less every 10 seconds to report its position. This option, when enabled, might consume a bit more battery. Next, we have the Enable Communication Encryption, which will encrypt all communications with the Shelly Blue Button 1. This option might also consume a bit more battery. Next, we have the Update Firmware option. Below that one, we have the Factory Reset option. And finally, we have some device information, like its identifier, the MAC address, and the device type. Changing some of these options might require your Shelly Blue Button 1 to be paired with your mobile phone. For example, if you want to do a firmware update, your phone needs to be paired directly with the Shelly Blue Button 1. The same goes for Find Your Device. In order to configure the Shelly Blue Button 1 actions, so what happens when you press these buttons, you actually need to go to the Scenes option in the Shelly application. You can reach this option by going to any room in the Shelly app and at the top you will see a Scenes button. Let's add a very simple scene, which is to turn on and off a light that is controlled by another Shelly device. In this case, this is a Shelly device that is an older generation, so the communication will be indirectly and not direct to the device. Press the Add button at the top, then type the name of your scene. Optionally, select an image to represent your scene. Select the room to store the scene. Add a condition. In this case, when we press one time the Shelly Blue button 1, we want the lights connected to the Shelly device to change the light state. If the lights are on, we want them to turn off. If the lights are off, we want them to turn on. So, select device-based condition. Select the room where the Shelly Blue button is. Select the device to use as trigger, in this case the Shelly Blue Button 1. And finally, select the device property to button push and how many clicks we want to use. In this case I'll select one, which corresponds to when the button is short pushed. For the last option, leave it to trigger with the condition type set to once. To proceed, press the save button. Now press next to select what we want to trigger with the Shelly Blue Button 1. Press add action. Select Device Based, select the Target Device Room, select the device, in this case I'll select the ceiling lights behind me, and I'll select Toggle the Device State of the Shelly Device so that I can use the same action to turn on or turn off. To finish, press the Save button, press Next. On this next screen, you can select the time period when this scene can be activated. In this case, I want this scene to be activated every time I press the button. So, I'll press Next. Optionally, leave the second option on if you want to see the scene being triggered immediately. I'll turn this off because I want to test it directly with the Shelly Blue Button 1. To finish, press Save. Your new scene should appear here. Now, let's give it a try. Excellent, everything works. By now, you should be getting an idea of how to configure the Shelly Blue Button 1. It's basically through the scene sections of the Shelly app. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the capabilities of the Shelly Blue Button 1. With the Shelly Blue Button 1, you can control other Shelly devices. You can eliminate the need of those expensive garage door remotes when they stop functioning. And you can as well overcome Wi-Fi signal limitations. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. As always, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Stay super cool and see you next time on the next video.